Speaker, this year I was fortunate enough to go up and spend time with members of the Defence Force uh, who are implementing uh, the policies that we're talking about here today. And I want to pay tribute to their professionalism, to their dedication and to their compassion. Because the first thing they say to you, and the member leaves the chamber, but I hope he listens to this point, the first thing they say to you order, is order. that order, order. Will the member, member for Fraser has a call. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. Will the member uh, yield to a question? Oh, okay. Okay. Did the, the member, for Fraser has the call. member vote for the Malaysia Agreement, which would have saved lives at sea, or did he vote against it? Call the honourable member for Longman. I didn't vote for a nation that was not signatory to the Human Rights Convention, and I would also make this point. Throughout this entire debate, a set of policies that are known to save lives and stop people going into detention centres have been on the table. Throughout the entire period that the member opposite was in government, they knew that these policies worked because they worked under the former government. And as I was saying, the members of the ADF who are implementing these policies, the first thing they say to you when they meet you, the first thing they say, and I hope he listens to this, he's leaving again, the first thing they say to you <laughs> is thank you. Thank you for implementing policies that stop us lifting dead bodies out of the sea. That's the first thing the members of the ADF say to you. When you think about this, Mr Deputy Speaker, 1,100 people that we know drowned at sea, and it was the responsibility of the ADF members to get those bodies out of the sea. That has a very significant professional and personal toll on the members of the ADF. And I cannot understand what is a humanitarian standpoint when you implement policies that saw 1,100 people that we know about lose their life at sea. We saw over 30,000 people uh, arrive. And in and when we came back into government in 2013, Mr Deputy Speaker, there wasn't four people in detention centres and no children. I'm not even going to tell you what the figure is for all the people in detentions. But in 2013, when we came back, there was 1,400 children in detention centres. 1,400 children in detention centres. And when we left government, not one, and only four people in detention centres. So I can't understand what it is that the left is saying is humanitarian about putting children into detention centres because of their policies. They're there because of their policies. I can't understand what's humanitarian about 1,100 people drowning at sea. And there is no denying, Mr Deputy Speaker, that these policies are dif difficult for us to grapple with as a nation, and they are tough. But the result is this. They've stopped the deaths at sea and they've stopped people going into detention centres. And when we do that, we actually free up a humanitarian dividend as a nation. We allow ourselves to get people out of detention centres and to take refugees from the most uh, dangerous and, uh, places across the globe and give them a safe haven and a new life here in Australia. But if we don't have control of our borders, we don't have the ability to do that. 